Encanto is a Disney film, yet it is set in a genuine location. However, unlike many other Disney movies, which frequently use made-up location as their settings, it is set in the actual country of Colombia. Here are the top 10 places from Encanto you can visit. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Medellin you might be curious about the movie and Kinto's inspiration as the entire story takes place in a picture-perfect tiny village. However, there is one character in particular who would fit right in Medellin. Medellin, the city of eternal spring, and the city of flowers would unquestionably embrace the botanically magnificent Isabella. At the city's yearly ferry at La Flores, the vibrant flowers she cultivates throughout her hometown would dazzle. This celebration, which is even mentioned in the movie, has a parade that features hundreds of exquisite floral arrangements carried by nearby farm workers. Number 9. Loza's Star Quest we reach an astonishing environment of vertical rock formations when we follow Mirabelle inside Bruno's room. It is a sight that is overpowering, uplifting, and a little bit spooky. The Loza Star Quest National Park is Ian's old and otherworldly natural wonder, despite its 1988 establishment. The location, which is in the North Santander province, is notable for its unusual rock pedestals and columns that were created by erosion over many centuries. Their fantastical beauty served as the ideal backdrop for Bruno's enigmatic abilities. Number 8. Val du Par The soundtrack to Encanto honors Colombia's extensive and varied musical heritage. A style of folk music known as Vale Nato combines components of native, European, and African music. This is reflected in its three primary musical components, the kaya drum, the accordion, and the guacaro, an indigenous rhythm instrument. In the first number of Encanto, which was inspired by Vale Nato, you might hear some drums and accordions. If this catchy tune has converted you to Vale Nato, a fall vacation to Val Dupar will let you indulge at their yearly festival. Number 7. Chaco Rhine Forest Antonio's chamber in the Madrigal Casita is unquestionably the most impressive of all that we get to view. You can travel into its real-life inspiration, the breathtaking Chaco Rhine Forest, for the time being. This vast ocean paradise is one of Colombia's most biodiverse regions. It is home to many creatures as well as up to 10,000 different plant kinds. Number 6. Arakataka The golden butterfly is Encanto's most significant symbol. The butterflies are a tribute to renowned Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez as well as a symbol of change and resiliency. The golden butterflies that surrounded his grandparents' home while he was a child living in Iraq attack a left a lasting impression on him. They would later appear as a symbol in the magical realist's subsequent books, most notably in 100 Years of Solitude. You can go to the same house today and see if you can find any butterflies for yourself. It is now a museum. Number 5. Bogota Although Bogota may seem a world away from Encanto, it served as a major inspiration for the film's production team. For instance, the Madrigal Casita, which has a sizable internal courtyard, was modeled after the historic residences from the city's La Candelaria neighborhood that date back to the colonial era. Visits to the National Museum of Colombia will provide insight into Colombia's distinctive past. You can learn to appreciate Encanto's accurate representation of the synthesis of indigenous, African, and European elements in Colombian society by perusing the 20,000-piece collection. Number 4. Cartagena Encanto appears to be an idyllic village that belongs only to a Disney film. Amazingly, however, entering the world of the movie may be as simple as buying a flight to Cartagena. One of South America's best-preserved colonial metropolises is the beach city. Narrow lanes with vibrant residences is that you will undoubtedly recognize line the old city's walled perimeter. In reality, the balconies in Encanto took their design cues directly from Cartagena's renowned flower-draped ones. Number 3. Baracara 
As you can see, Encanto's appearance was influenced by many Colombian regions, but Barracara is the best option if you want a match that is most similar to the Hamlet itself. It was discovered around seven hours north of Bogota, and director Jared Bush called it a village trapped in time. Indeed, visiting Barracara, one of Colombia's 17 maintained heritage towns, is like traveling back in time to the 18th century. Incanto is a reflection of the community, complete with its winding cobblestone streets, red tile roofs, and vibrant accents. However, what stands out most about Barakara's cinematic equivalent is its atmosphere of a timeless fantasy setting. Number 2. Kokora Valley Look no further than Kokora Valley if you wish to set foot in Incanto's actual, physical location. It would be difficult to not be inspired by the striking landscape since it is situated in the Andean foothills of the Edge Cafetero. The Quindio wax palm trees, a symbol of Colombia, may grow to an incredible 200 feet tall, and the steeply rolling green hills seem to stretch on forever. When the directors of Encanto first arrived in Cocora Valley, they realized they had arrived at the Madrigal's house. Salen 2, a nearby town, makes a great starting point for exploration. Number 1. Cano Crystals There is undoubtedly something unique about the river in Encanto, even though the candle is said to be the basis of the Madrigal family's abilities. Early on, just before Alm experiences the miracle, Pedro and Alma cross it. Later, it serves as the setting for some much-needed family reconciliation. A plant known as Macarena clavigera transforms the water's color from red to yellow to blue to green every year between July and November. The universe of Encanto and its magical realism take on a unique meaning when you realize there is a genuine rainbow river flowing somewhere on this globe. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.